Alola Internet! I'm Hamster Bomb, and you are back for some more Pokemon Moon! And we're gonna be heading up to this observatory on the bus, which just teleported here. The Executor Express. Yay! Our safe driving record will absolutely slay you! What? What? I don't want to get on that bus! No, thank you. Mount, um, Hokulani. Fantastic! Oh, I look like such a loser. Over here! We got on the same bus. Okay. But anyway, now we're here. Mount Hukalani is the second tallest mountain in Akala. Wait. He probably said Alola. And the tallest. What? What? Oh. Check it out, hamster. Wow, we actually have, like, a cutscene. Or is that it? You see the steep, jutting, majestic peak right over there? Um, oh, I'm sorry, it was uh, just, um, no, no, let's not, let's not make sexual jokes. <laughs> That's Mount, uh, Lanakila, the highest peak in Alola. Oh, I see. It's a sacred spot, yeah, the closest you can ever get to the legendary Pokemon of Alola. Said to be the moon incarnate. That's right, right there, on the peak of Lanakila. That's where I'll establish our Pokemon League. Oh, we don't have one! I heard you right. Oh ho! We'll get everybody who's finished their island challenges, yeah, and up there on the peak of Mount Lanakila, they'll battle against the Kahunas to become the island challenge champion. I've always valued our old traditions here in Alola, but it's time to make a champion the whole world will recognize. It's time to get our own Elite Four and make our own Pokemon League. Oh, that's so cool. Can I actually, like, get in on that? To think that someday the kiddos in Alola will be able to go from being the Islands Challenge Champion to the World Champion. Then again, we have our own champion. When we have our own champion, they can show the rest of the world what's so special about Alolan Pokemon and their trainers. Huh. Interesting. So, um... They have no idea, like, what those other characters are going to be about. Oh, wait, is this the way back? Thank you for choosing Executive Express. Run it right down. No, screw that. I'm not leaving. This place is nice. I wonder when we're going to figure out who the champion and everyone else is. Hello. Thanks for your Pokemon's help. I patrol even the peak of the mountain. Can I ride on a horsey instead of a Stoutland? Hello, hiker. I know you're the real champion. The peak of Mount uh, Hokulani is the second closest peak to sp place to space in the Alola region. Weird way to phrase it, but yes. Pokemon are in space, too? Wow, yep, there's some scary ones in space. Oh, that was Story wanted me to go here. Hey there! <laughs> oh, it's Otacon. Uh, You're still as fired up as ever, eh, Royal? Royal. Kukui. Hi, Hamster. Let me introduce, this, or introduce you. This is... Mol... <laughs> wow. Uh, Molane? Molane. Man, I guess that's how you say it. Uh, he runs the observatory here and also manages PC boxes, but he's not, um, Hokalani's captain. No, but I was the captain once, my masked friend. He already just pointed out that he's the masked, what's his name? If, it's Hamster, right? Thanks for coming all the way up to Hokalani to visit us. But our captain, Sophocles, is a busy young man. Oh, <laughs> always calculating comets, paths, and working on the festival plaza thing of his. So I'll just determine whether you're qualified to take on the trial. I'll heal your team first, of course. Oh, are we gonna fight? You wanna go? You wanna go? As long as it's not electric, please don't. Gladly show you the skills of a trainer who toughened up while adventuring alongside Kukui back in the day. Oh, okay. Random fight with this guy. What's your name again? Malane. Milane? It's probably Malai. Mal Malane? Mo Moale? I don't know. I'm going to say Malane because it's easier to say. No clue what his name's supposed to be. Uh, fighting is probably all I've got here. Uh, I could also sucker punch it, but I really don't have anything special on that. Uh, this is not a good setup here. Um, It's also going to outspeed me. I'm still going to Brick Break. Let's try this out. Air Cutter. Great! Ow! Didn't hurt that much, Brick Break. Whack. Do at least half. Darn it. Um, how about this? Uh, Brick Break and then I'll Sucker Punch to try and kill it. Metal Claw. Good, he's being stupid. 
He's being stupid. Smack. No, one more smack coming for you. But a sucker punch. Sucker punch! Boom! Knock it dead. That's right. You don't mess with fear. Uh, Unity grew to level 42. Awesome. Oh, we gotta see some Unity action. Metang. We switch Pokemon. Well, honestly, um... Well, it doesn't resist... Let me see. I forget what it doesn't resist anymore. It doesn't resist Dark, and it doesn't resist, um, Bug, I think. I'm gonna keep battling. I'm gonna see how it does. Because regardless, I can hit him with a Sucker Punch, and he's weak to it now. Fight. Um, no, he's not weak to Bug. But still, he is weak to Sucker Punch, so let's try and hit him with that. Sucker Punch. Yes, he tried! Boom! Oh, almost a one-shotter. He got Pursuit off. Oh, really? That's it? He tried Pursuit. So this guy used to be a Steel Captain. Interesting. Um, I could get a little bit of HP out of him with a... Yeah, she's Brick Break. Super Potion. Oh, darn it! Well, good thing I didn't try and Sucker Punch him down. Brick Break. Whack. Okay, you know, um, from there, I could probably Leech Life, get a decent amount of HP, and that should kill him. Plus, I'm faster. Uh, yes! There we go. That's what I wanted to see happen. Just enough HP. Oh, that's right. My goal, Lisa Pod's gonna take you down, son. You're losing to a bug. You are losing to a freaking bug. 39. Um, defense, four points. That's nice, because even though it's hindered, I, I need to get those points still. Papaya grew to 46. Holy cow, Papaya, you're being a champ back there. Doug Trio, we you switch Pokemon? Um, oh, it's, it is steel. Um, it's ground steel. So, um, I can still hit it with, uh, fighting moves. I'm good. <laughs> it comes out like waves its hair. Oh, it's great. Super effective brick break. Doug Trio's Metal Claw. Doesn't hurt that much. I'm good. Plus, I got a Citrus Berry. Oh, one shot at it. This Pokemon's so awesome. I love this Pokemon so much. I'm so glad I have, like, some of my favorites as Shinies already. The only one I wish I could have had a Shiny of was the starter. The thing is, resetting that starter is a ridiculous, ridiculous thing to do. I'd rather just hatch it later, honestly. So, plus I wanted to get the game started. You know, I was too excited. Well, well, you certainly seem qualified to take on the trial. Yeah, I think he's even stronger than we were at this point in our island challenge. One more thing, cousin. The name's Kukui. Who's this Mask Royale you're talking about? Alright, cousin, I'm heading back to Mally Garden. We all know it's you. I figure how should be done eating Melosita by now, huh? Yeah, I'll make sure he makes it up to here. Well, whatever. I want to explore the area. You're a creep, Eli. I'm just going to call you Otacon. The guy's as uh, interesting as ever, my old buddy. My, well, welcome to my observatory, hamster. Are you going inside? Are you going inside? I guess so. I think you better go on with uh, Malane there, pal. See what the, um, yeah, sure, okay. Whoa. Interesting. Let's talk to everybody. We uncover the universe by having our huge computer calculate the calculations. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay. Don't fail us, computer. Hello. Modern astronomical telescopes are basically like amazingly good digital cameras, you know? Yeah. We don't really look through them at space so much as we have to take photos of space. So we have to see what's happening up there. Yep, space. Space things. Um, that is a door, that's a magnemite, and that's a guy. We use different waves such as infrared waves, radio waves to detect celestial bodies. Yes, you do. Take this to commemorate the visit to the observatory. Money. Thanks. I wish they just gave out money every time I went to, uh... Observatory. I've never really gotten to go to an observatory. I remember um, in grade school, there was supposedly a, um, well, I say supposedly, there was a uh, class trip, a field trip to go to an observatory, and I was sick. Like, I was so upset. I was sick, and I couldn't go. So that was like the worst day ever. Um, what's this? I guess we're gonna go there last. Uh, old um, Lane and Sophocles are thick as thieves. They're up all day and night playing games together, or whatever else they do. Sure, I'm sure they're working hard at those games. It's amazing how they still manage to get their work done, but it's not as easy for the rest of us. I'm sure. So it looks like that's the way to go. Do that one room in the back. I'm just trying to explore everything before we go, you know. And it's you! What? I didn't walk that direction. You're getting close to your goal. Imagine you must come here to attempt a trial, huh? So, uh, do you like Festival Plaza? 
Uh, sure, but honestly, I, I, I can't figure out what to do with it anymore. Well, if that's the case, then. Fine, whatever, let's get started. Right now? Right now, right here. Okay, so I guess neither mattered. We're fighting? You summon the Toto Pokemon and prove your strength to it. That's what every trial bowl is boils down to, right? So I thought. Why not just call the totem here from the start? So I tried this bit, uh, this and that, and I think I whipped up a little device to call the totem Pokemon. Perhaps you're wondering why I built a machine. Here at the observatory, we also monitor sounds that we detect from outer space. So there are some sounds that are inaudible to people, but Pokemon can hear just fine. We broadcast the sounds we have gathered uh, terrestrially and monitor the reactions of Pokemon. The machine that summits, summons the totem Pokemon makes use of this technology. Utilizing the sounds... I, you don't have to tell me how it works if you said you're just going to do it. Other sounds we have gathered, we have also de developed a security system here. But that was actually a Big Mo's invention, just so you know. This will actually be my first time trying it out, so I'm glad you came. I needed a test subject. Ping Totem Pokemon 2.0 Engage. What kind of Totem Pokemon are you calling? Now the Totem should... Voom. Oh, no way, did I blow a fuse? Nope. Ow. Did the door close? Let's see. We'll need to turn out the security system getting the door open. You have to pass an audio quiz. What? It's fine. I definitely feel a powerful presence. It's coming now. The totem Pokemon is coming. Let's get this trial gun, okay? My trial's about to begin. What? In the dark? <laughs> In order to open the door, please respond to the following audio quiz. What sound do you hear? Pokemon Center. Um... Oh, I actually said Pokemon Center. It's... Okay. Pokemon Center. Okay. I was gonna say... Opening door. <laughs> grub Grub. Whoa. As soon as the opening door, Pokemon came through. I'm counting on you, hamster. It was a Grubbin. Well, it said Grub Grub, but it used an electric attack. Grubbins aren't electric type yet. Alright, whatever. So, um... I wonder what the totem Pokemon's going to be then. Because I found out, um, we're not able to actually get the final form of our Grubbin until the last freaking island, which is a shame. Um, you know what? How about a free heal? I'm gonna leech life. Because he takes it normally. Yummy! Boom, and that'll probably kill you. Yep, fill me up. Ah, delicious. It's so nice being able to heal with a Glissipide because if his health goes below half as we saw earlier, he retreats. He's actually a big wussy, but he's my big wussy. So what else we got here? I knew you could do it, hamster. Oh, and just when I said it, the door closed again! It's gonna be okay, the totem Pokemon is on its way. Detective presence of approaching totem po That was it? I can't tell by sound. What is it? Maybe it's a Vickable, because he's gonna be electric, right? No, in order for the door to open, please respond to the following audio quiz. You hear what the sound when- wait. You hear the sound when you get what? Um... That's when something's added to your dex. Okay, yeah, yeah, Rotom dex. You don't get Rotom dex when that happens, but whatever, I understood what it meant. Charge! Oh! They are leveling them up! Is the- do I really- Oh, that makes sense, then the final one might be a Vickavolt. Probably to force you so that it's new when you see it here. That's probably why you can't get Vickavolt earlier. I wanted one! I wanted the shiny one! Bug Electric would have really added something to my team, too. So, um, we're still able to just use, uh, Bug Types, so I say First Impression. This is a little stronger, and we're full HP. Boom! Nice. Plus, it's only a little stronger. Surprisingly, Leech Life got so much better in this game, it's ridiculous. I'm fine with it. Finally, because I'm finally using a Bug Type. Knew you could do it, hamster. Oh, and would you look at that, my door just closed again while I was flapping my jaw. It's gonna be okay, the Tone Pokemon's on its way. Totem Pokemon is still approaching. Oh, I see. I think it's it's a Vickavolt. It's flying. I hear it flying. But then how is it not here yet? Serious system system has been 50% shut down. In order to open the door, please respond to the following audio quiz. Which Pokemon's cry is this sound? I know all of these. I can do this. That's Chargebug. Yes, it's Chargebug. I had one. And it sounds awesome. Looks like the door's about to open. Plus, we just fought one. Charge. Oh, I see you fight another Charge-a-Bug. Okay. I'm starting to get it now. 
Okay. We got this. Fortunately, um, they're not getting any electric attacks off on us, because as soon as they do, our whole team is done, if you haven't paid attention to that. Everybody is weak to electric except the Raichu I brought. So, um, first impressions. Really the only thing I can do. First impression. Die. I haven't really been checking their levels, but I'm pretty sure we're okay on that front. Landed a critical hit, wanted to be praised. Good job, fear. I wonder what kind of shinies we can get on this island, because I really want to shiny hunt some more. Um, I don't know who we should go for. I know, we're getting really lucky in this game already. I knew you could do it, hamster. And then, of course, the door goes and shuts again. Fool me once, shame on the door. Fool me twice, shame on the security system. Fool me thrice, shame on me, I guess. <laughs> Here it comes, we're picking up traces of the totem Pokemon extremely close by. Totem Pokemon incoming. Oh yeah, here we go. It's gotta be a Vickavolt. Which is kinda crazy, like we haven't even seen one yet. Oh, it's so gonna outspeed us. Final security question. In order to open the door, please respond to the following audio quiz. What appears when you hear the following music? <laughs> a Totem Pokemon. Huh? The sound, the presence I sense. Eerie. Th there it is, the totem Pokemon. This is your time to shine, hamster. Why do the lights come on? Vikaval, the totem Pokemon of the Ahokulani Observatory, has appeared. Dang. Now, this might be bad. That's kind of cool. I never even heard one before. Actually, no, we did. We did in that one episode, that terrifying episode where we went back into the four-player thing. Oh, did it say? What did it say? Sped to life. Uh, probably speed or something, but it's okay. I think we can take- Oh god, it's huge. Fight. Um, I thought it was so much smaller than that. Uh, first impression. Come on, that's speed priority, right? Boom! Oh gosh, charge. Okay, after a charge, I'm assuming it's gonna try and hit us with an attack after this. Called an ally. Um, I say we sucker punch it. Charge a bug. He's gonna get the, no matter what. Someone's hitting us with an electric attack, and I don't want it to be Vicavolt. So I say we try and sucker punch the Vicavolt. Come on, please try and attack me. Sucker punch. Failed. Charge. Why would you charge twice? Well, I gotta keep trying it. Thunder wave. Oh no. Oh darn it. This is bad. Paralyzed might not move. Get. Yes. Oh, that's right. That's my fear. That is my fear. Sucker Punch. The Vickable. Come on. Sucker Punch. Yes! Boom! Kill it. No! Spark! Ow! Ow! Super effective. Is it a pinch? It might cry. But fortunately, he's got a Citrus Berry. Is that enough to push me back into the green? Nope. Charge Buck Thunder Wave. It doesn't matter anymore. I'm out of here. Nope. Screw this. I'm outie. I, I think if it gets into the red... Oh, he stayed. He actually stayed. Um, I thought in a regular battle he would retreat and force me to switch out Pokemon. So he actually stayed in. Um, we could use our last Sucker Punch on Vickavolt or try and... I think he's going to outspeed us, though. I got a feeling I need to Leech Life the Vickavolt. I think. I think that's my, my plan here. Big Vault charge, yes! That's what I was hoping, because I was thinking if I use Sucker Punch and he charges, we're done for. Please be faster than the charge, but no! Yes, he dodged it, that's right. Leech life, yummy! Delish. Big Vault's down. And not enough to get into the green, but I guess it doesn't matter. He's being a champ right now and staying in for me. Boom! You're not killing me, charge a bug. Fight with, um... Leech life for the HP. Charge back spark. Ow! Don't kill me. Not enough. Paralyzed can't move. Uh oh. And it matters now. Leech life. Come on. Charge a bug. Yeah, sucker punch is not enough. Come on. Don't spark again. Oh, and he dodged it. That's why you play with your Pokemon a lot. Munch! Fill her up. Man, that Vigabolt was way stronger than the rest of them. But, um, uh, I'd like to say that my, uh, oh, I, I will pet you. I'll pet you big times. Oh, you come here, you little. You defeated Tokum Totem Vicavolt. 
Yes. Awesome. Let me, uh, take care of you there, buddy. I, I know. I know. Life is hard, but somehow you killed them all. Holy cow, that was awesome, though. I'll totally pay a citrus berry for that. That was a really cool one. Retreat. Whew. Oh, yeah, in his premier ball. Because he's got that thing, and he's awesome. Um, boon, boon, no, 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 no. Oh, and the power's back on. Sweet. I like how his shirt's a link cable shirt, like T-shirt. I would've worn that, but no, instead I got this thing. Oh, I was gonna say, perfect time. Let me see what's on my shirt, but I didn't see. Sophie. Big Mo. Oh, you guys are just a little gay for each other, aren't you? Nice work, Captain. You helped Hamster here get through his trial, and your experiment was a success. It seems that your ping totem Pokemon 2.0 uses too much electricity. If we can get a little assistance from Chargebug, we should be able to make some improvements. Here, Hamster. I'll give you this Electrium Z to reward you for beating the Totem Pokemon. Yes! Oh, hey. I already had that on my wrist. Because it was the Pikachu one, but apparently we couldn't use that anyway. But now I have that. I have that thing. Oh, give it a Raichu. Totally give it a Raichu because Raichu can't use the Pikachu one. Raichu needs a Raichu one or an electric one. So, hey, we can totally use that. And, you know, um... You know, we don't have any other types. If we had a flying one, sure, I'd use it. We have a rock one I could give to Corsola. You watching? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I I got it. Yeah, it was fine when the power was off. Jeez. Now that you can see me, I feel all nervous. I'm not sure what to say. Thanks or uh, congratulations, you passed my trial? Do I not actually battle him? Congratulations on cleaning your trial. And you, Sophocles, you did well as captain. I was really nervous. Don't you worry, I'm sure I made the right choice in naming you captain. Even if you are my cousin. Even if you are my cat. Usually it's the island kahuna who awaits the captains. But there are uh, some unusual circumstances here on Ula Ula. So somehow I ended up captain. But you were really great, hamster. I see, then let me reward you. Stelium Z! Oh my gosh, we got two of them! You open up Z-Crystals, putting Steelium Z away inside. Wow, we actually just got two. It's one of the Z-Crystals that I collected long ago during my own island challenge to prove my strength and that of my Pokemon. So it seems fitting that can go from me to you. Take it and use it well. And if we're done here, Hamster, can I ask you a favor? Uh, Professor Kukui forgot this. Oh, Professor's Mask. That's good. <laughs> He said he was going back to a Mally Garden. Could you take it to him? Why would anyone go back there? Maybe next time we can battle. Maybe next time we can. Um, so, funny that they say that because while I was exploring around, I found I actually got to rematch or battle for the first time. I don't remember which. The grass type, uh, lady, forget her name. Meteor from space. That's probably used for something. It's a star globe depicting the universe. Well, the universe isn't a circle, but I don't know. Maybe it is. Supposedly, it's infinite, and if it's infinite, it's not a shape. But anyway, um, yeah, abstract thoughts. Let's end that. So let's keep on running on out of here, because um, we never really got to explore this outside area yet. Mount uh, Hukalani. A lot of Hukalani, a lot of hooplas. Um, we actually don't even need that. How you doing, mister? Whoa, you're walking down the mountains pretty far to the next bus stop. Oh, you can walk down the mountain. Sorry, youngster, but I can't fight you. My Pokemon is like a brother to me, and he's not interested in battling weaklings. If you want me to ask him to fight you, then beat all the trainers on Mount Hokalani. Challenge accepted. Uh, but, uh, okay, that's where we were going over there. Time to head on down to the mountains. Um, so we stretch it, and is that a thing we're doing? Hi, oh. I was watching the uh, parabolic antenna and I found a trainer. Do you have a Diglett? You must have a Diglett then. Because Diglets actually have antennas. They're not hairs, they're antennas. Let me see. Clefairy. I don't know what she was talking about then. Whatever. But it's uh, there and over with. So, um, man, I wish I had a water move so I, like, remembered he's bug water. Oh, shoot. Um... Yeah, none of this is good. Uh, how about a Leech Life just for the HP in hopes that, um... Munch. We got a good amount here. Wow, it's so strong! Oh my gosh. Fear, you are a champ. Minimize. Um... 
shoot. Shoot. Uh, how about a brick break? Just for hopes that it hits him. Avoid it, minimum. Oh my gosh, don't be this person. Don't be this person right now. Nobody likes that trainer. Brick break, avoided, minimize. Well, she just maxed her evasiveness. Well, she can't, she clearly can't do it again. How about a sucker punch? Avoiding the attack, store power. Oh, it avoided the attack. I was gonna say, there's no way I admit, or like, or um, something, I don't know. So, now we're screwed. Um, brick break. Now that I'm also almost out of- Yes, I got it with full evasiveness! Awesome! We should either heal Galissapod, who's on level 40, and now I can switch around. And, um, you know, we should probably just heal up. Maybe you can fight one more trainer, and I'll head back. Whoa, 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 what? Yeah, your cheapo tactic there? I, I didn't appreciate it, freak. Now, um, let's switch our Pokemon around. So who did not get any action here? Unity could be a really fun one to raise, but um, level-wise, I think Akala, because you guys never really got to see Akala fight, like, at all. Oh, and, before I forget, we do have a um, Rockium Z, who is compatible. What are you holding at all? Uh, Given a Pokemon that can use Z power. Holding wide lens. Yeah, whatever. Took the wide lens, gave it Rockium Z. We also have Electrium Z that we want to give to... All right, you. Yep, Amio Coin. That's fine. Amio Coin is now the Electrium Z. So now we've got um, I think three. Grassium Z. No. Um, Waterium Z. So no one is actually using Waterium Z right now. If anyone um, well you have the Rock one. If anyone's got Water, it should probably be. Oh my, it's so weird that my Galispod is incompatible with it. Um, you know, Wishy-Washy needs the Quick Claw. So if anything, I'm actually going to give this to Melly Melly. And use Z-Power, holding Mystic Water. Yep. Not doing it much good there. You know, whatever. And then we got the Snorlax one, and I also have a Pikachu. Other than that, it's all uh, types, which is still cool. But anyway... Now, apparently, I put the other ones on my wrist here. So, we got electric. I need to put rock. And that's it, actually, right? Electric and rock. That's really the only ones we have here. Fortunately, the electric trial is over. Thank God. Oh, yeah, I gotta go heal. The electric trial is over. I don't have to worry about getting hit with a butt-ton of electric Pokemon anymore. We can heal up. Oh, yeah, we didn't talk to anybody in this Pokemon Center. Maybe there's new stuff. I don't know. There's always new stuff in Pokemon. Yep, take my Pokemon for a few seconds. I wonder who we're gonna hunt on this island. There's a lot of new Pokemon that I'm really excited about, and I'm like thinking, should I just go new Pokemon, or should I also count Alolan forms for things to shiny hunt? I don't know. Uh, the Pokemon Storage System that opens the PC from Bill. Yep. Oh, I know his name, and the other guy was Malane or something like that. I love having cafe space in the PMC. The PMCs, Metal Gear, play too much Metal Gear. That is a bad thing. Don't go to the PMCs. I relax here at the cafe when my partner takes it easy at Pokepegalo. Oh, right, that place. You know, I didn't even get to do that. So, um, while we have the end of the episode, why not we just go fly there really quick and I'll show you, like, what it looks like right now because, um, it's kind of nuts. I've got a wrist bangle. I feel so silly. <laughs> but it's actually really convenient. Like, it, it keeps my wrist, like, propped up on the table very nicely as I hold the DS. And then, like, we haven't used Z power yet, but I will. Oh, hey, we got a curious pug on here. It's a shelter. Very cool. So, um, there's lots of Pokemon that, like, get interested, and then they, like, don't come back later. So, whatever. I always talk to them the first day and just kind of hope that they'll come back later. Because, uh, the more Pokemon we have in the box, uh, the more I can, you know, power up our islands and, um, stuff like that. So, right now I think we need 60, and then I can do a lot of stuff. It'd be really helpful. There's a second Galissapod back there. It's my non-shiny one. The lame one, which is still so weird. Like, why on earth did Wimpod come back? I don't know, but everything on the internet said he wouldn't. Cool, we got a rainbow one. Um, which we have so many at this point, I'm actually, like, starting to feed them to my Pokemon because it makes them- Oh, look at all this! So, uh, guess what I was doing? Citrus berry, citrus berry, citrus berry, citrus berry, citrus berries. Oh, that one's not done yet. Oh yeah, so flowers means it's not done. So I'm literally picking a million citrus berries. I'm curious how many citrus berries I'm gonna have. I don't know if we picked up any new berries while we were out and about, but, uh, now it's time to check. 
Because honestly, I have hundreds of everything now. Yes, we do. We have Greppa and Pomeg. Plant those things. Yes. Uh, but aside from that, what do I not have a hundred of? Agwaf, Figgy, Ipapa. Look forward to that berry harvest. Oh, I'm sure you do. And uh, everything else I got a million of. I have so many citrus berries. Um, let's see. What else would I use? Probably Lepas. I'd use a lot of Lepa berries. I assume for SOS chaining and stuff. And then um, I'm going to go overboard on, let's say, uh, Lumberries. Those are like full heals. Yes, nice. Now over here, they're actually still not back yet. That's funny. So I'll check later today. And these guys are playing, leveling up. Um, honestly, we have a Sand Isle here, just to show you guys. Sand Isle went up by one level. Sand Isle um, is getting really close to turning into a Salazzle. I'd like to Shiny Hunt one, but it's like... I don't know. It would. I'd rather stay with stuff on the new islands. Like, I don't want to keep going back. I want to hunt new stuff here. Uh, Crabrawler is leveling up just a bit because um, I know eventually, I don't remember what island it is, but supposedly he's another location-based evolution. Same for Chargebug, as we see there. Here's our starter, in case we ever want to take Decidueye back out. Um, leveling up, these are different ones. Pukey Mukey, I figured, let's just throw that one in there. Level up a bit. And Oranguru, because why not? They're interesting new Pokemon. And, um, I don't know if they're gonna turn into anything really cool. Well, they're not gonna evolve, unfortunately. But, um, they're still gonna be really cool, powerful Pokemon later. It's a possibility, so why not throw them in there? You guys are gonna have six Pokemon. Why not have them all level up? You know, if I need a couple. So, anyway, that's where we're at right now. And, uh, we have a lot of exploring to do. And Akala seems to be late in the party right now for the next episode. So, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more. And I will see you all in the next episode of Pokemon Moon. Bye!